hey guys as we are done with ansible installation now let's see how to install on tap modules so uh, we will see if the on tap modules are already there in the net ansible installation or not and if they are already there then why we need to install them again so just run ansible version command and go to this path in this is one of the ansible directory and you can see under ansible directory there are different directories and files go to modules under modules you can see different modules for networking storage systems etc in this case we'll go to storage uh, you can see our uh, modules from different vendors like EMC, IBM, NetApp. Let's go to NetApp folder over here and you can see different modules already there under NetApp folder. So basically uh, Net modules are already there under NetApp uh, Ansible installation but um, we still need to install that and the reason for that is because sometimes these modules uh, are not up to date and another reason is uh, these modules have different uh, library requirements or different packages requirement which are which does not come up with standard ansible installation in that case uh, we go ahead and install these modules again separately so in this video we will talk about how we can install these modules so uh, just go to internet search for netapp io ansible NetApp.io, uh, I'm not sure if you are aware or not, NetApp.io is one of the very famous website uh, which is uh, run by some of the NetApp gurus and they provide really amazing information. So just go to this link which talks about install Ansible. Once you are on this link, you go to this page, you can see they have very fantastic documentation about NetApp Ansible integration and NetApp Ansible automation where you can see how to install Ansible on your system. You can also see uh, how to update your modules, NetApp modules, how to create your first playbooks, etc. Uh, this document, which is about updating NetApp modules, uh, this is basically nothing but they are talking about um, installing Git, then um, get the latest commits from the repository and copy those commits to our Ansible folder. So basically I have uh, copied uh, some of these steps from, from this documentation and also I'm going to run it for you so that you can understand what is happening around here. So let's start with this. Let's first install Git. Um, on my system already Git is installed, so it's not going to install Git. So yeah, it, you can see that it's, Git is already installed on my system. Since this is about the URL, I'm not going to type it here, but I will copy it. So you can see um, it is going to download the repo from the repository. But I will um, pause this video here until this download finish. So after a couple of minutes, this um, download is finished. Now this is in Ansible devil directory, which is located in my home directory. Let's go to Ansible devil. Uh, you can see uh, it has downloaded on the packages from the GitHub. Now next step says git pull which is nothing but um, it will pull the latest version out of there. So in our environment, it is already up to date. Probably in your environment, it, it will pull something. Now it is asking me to go to this uh, library folder. Let's see. CD lib dash ansible. Okay, uh, I can see different modules are already here. And uh, this is nothing but the same path it should be modules, storage, netapp and if I see what all is there so you can see all the all those modules are already there. So this package generally comes with the standard installation. So 
uh, Ansible comes with a standard installation and this one will, should have the latest uh, packages, latest modules. Now uh, here uh, they asked me to copy uh, this location in this location all these modules but uh, for me it is uh, this path would be different and to get this path information I'll show you where we can get that but first let's go back to the same Ansible folder okay I am under the same folder now let's the same Ansible version command one more time okay so this is the Ansible installation path for in my case uh, which is a bit different in this case it is under dist packages here it is under site packages so let's copy uh, some of the portion of this command which says yes this and this need to be this need to go under this which is not the correct path in our case and I will choose the correct path which is over here ansible slash module underscore utils okay copy complete now the another copy operation which is for modules this is the one okay these are the another one and this cannot go under module utils so this need to go under modules and i guess site storage net app modules storage net app okay so we can see that this has copied everything for us it looks pretty good now uh, let me run this last command which will update um, the latest packages pip install with ansible pip install ansible upgrade this is going to upgrade our ansible so all the requirements are set now everything is good uh, in next video we will see how we can set up a connection with a NetApp a simulator and from then we will start doing some automation so keep watching thank you